Hi everyone, so I wanted to show you my walkthrough when I went to go get some body care for $4.95. Unfortunately, I didn't have any coupons, but here in the first display off to the side, we have some new body care. And then the items that everyone was seeming to pick up were the aromatherapy which surprised me. You can see a lot of empty spaces, especially with stress relief, but I'm not too interested in that, but it's great for relaxing, so I can understand why that. And they had a lot of like high-priced items like the bubble baths, what else, the body oils, the shower steamers, the scrubs, all of them pretty much retail $18.50 or above. I found some scents that I like that I hadn't tried before, like the, surprisingly, even though I don't like cinnamon, I really like the cozy one. Unfortunately, the oil or like body oil melt thing, they didn't have anymore. So initially I thought a lot of the body care was gonna be uh, separated by the scent. And so I would have to go to each section to find the body butters or the lotions. But surprisingly, a lot of the ones that I ended up finding were all in this little corner right here. They had gingham, they had mina amber glow. What else? Some dream bright butterfly that I'm not showing. Um, I'm kind of bummed that they didn't have more body butters without, you know, the glotion because that's a little bit too shiny. Up above, you also see some Japanese cherry blossom. I think that's shimmering body lotion. I don't think I've ever tried that specific formula. I've tried the diamond shimmer mist like way back, maybe like six years ago when it used to be about the same size as the body mist. And the lotions are just a little bit much but I ended up buying something, so you'll see that in a separate haul video. And then right next to this little area, they had a lot of Minute Amber Glow. My strategy for this shopping trip, because I calculated it, and I wanted to stick to only retail price items of $18.50 and above, because anything below that I could probably get during SAS with a coupon, or even without the coupon, I think it'd be a better deal. And then here I was just looking for some lotions that were testers but i didn't seem to find any and when i asked or when my sister asked the worker they didn't really want to make a try me one so maybe it's because they knew later on it was going to sell out but during this walkthrough i think i got there around 1 or 2 p.m and yeah it was uh, there was people but it wasn't as many people as there were during candle day day two but yeah minute amber glow is a great scent japanese cherry blossom i know a lot of people online say or they're very polarized because it sells out year after year so i'm sure someone's buying it and then i wanted to move over and see anything else like the body what is that like the shimmering body fizz that one i think retails 16.50 so it wasn't too good of a deal to buy it but i mean it all depends how long you're willing to wait and if you are for example wanting these as christmas gifts of course you can't wait till semi-annual sale because that's after christmas and then another deal that was going on simultaneously was the candle sale, <laughs> candle sale in all quotes, for $16.95. It wasn't a good deal. I forgot to mention, but I also had some exchanges, candle exchanges that I'll show later on. But yeah, here is the Japanese cherry blossom section. It was fully stocked when I went and I almost didn't recognize it because I'm so used to the previous packaging before this one. But even Japanese cherry blossom, they had a lot of body butters available. I did not see any for You're the One, so either my store was limited in that selection or they had all sold out. But yeah, here we go. We have Winter Cherry Blossom. You know, I really recommend this if you don't like the original Japanese Cherry Blossom, if you feel like it's too much. Like this one is more fruity, less powdery, and like a more subdued version. It kind of makes Japanese Cherry Blossom more like palatable if you don't like it for that but if you love japanese cherry blossom because it's so strong very like floral y then i would stick to what you like because this kind of transforms it into a fruity floral and on the other side we have the new scents i'm a little underwhelmed with the scents that they came out so my favorite one is prismatic what is it prismatic stars just because i really enjoy the plum note that kind of makes it or separates it from the rest the other one, Sapphire Moon, forgettable. It has raspberries. I feel like I've seen that before. Life of the Party is better than Champagne Toast in my opinion. It's very bubbly, super enjoyable, upbeat, but it's kind of like, yeah, it's nice, but like whatever type of scent, at least in my opinion. 
and also i feel like i already have a scent that's somewhat similar to this maybe not bubbly rosé but you know something along those lines i don't need several scents that are like very similar oh and golden eclipse i just forgot about it it's whatever <laughs> sorry if you like golden eclipse but in this little stand if you can see there's one i believe it's pronounced gouache that doesn't have a candle i'm pretty sure that was supposed to be palo santo because i was trying to find one to exchange one of my candles with and they did not have it they still had a lot of pistachio pink rose and leather and like other type scents but palo santo they did not have and then here is where all the um 16.95 at the time candles were and all of the christmas scents and surprisingly they did not have well they had this glass lid candle frozen lake i don't know if they got a new shipment or if they like held it in the back during candle day but um going back they did not have hot cocoa and cream which i was kind of bummed about because i was even willing to exchange it for a lower retail price candle but here we go my store still has paris cafe i'm so happy because you know i think i was overly critical during my candle day walkthrough yeah it's weaker than before but it's still better than a lot of the candles that are out now and then over here on the left side we have a lot of the new scents um the candles that retail for 26.95 we have blueberry marshmallow bar what is that sea salt and balsam amethyst something or another and you know the repackage to the right of strawberry pound cake but you know what this store has a ton of this was the night before christmas it's very nice but it's super light so i think that's why people aren't buying it or they just have an overflow of stock of christmas candles everything besides hot cocoa and green but here on the other side we have the striped candles um i haven't really been paying attention to these scents but i just know one of them for sure is sugar is a snickerdoodle one and then the other ones that i did see maybe not in this specific area was just Wonder Candy Apple, Vanilla Bean Noel, and all of those like classic favorites. White Woods and Peach is over here. Um, I was looking for the one that I think had Jasmine, but I couldn't find it. So I'm kind of reassessing my choices for Candle Day during the first day. I probably should have thought things through. They still have a lot of the Candle Day exclusive candles. Not in this section. I found it later on. It was right by the register behind this very big post. So you're not going to see it, but they had still banana bunk cake wine cellar titsy l french baguette but none of the signature body care candles that came back like butterfly into the night and the stars you know this strawberry snowflake that i showed a little bit i sprayed it and i still think that it's very not strong enough like strawberry pound cake but it's not kind of like fruity enough than strawberry soda it's kind of like in between so if i had to choose between strawberry snowflake and strawberry pound cake i'd choose strawberry pound cake and then if i were to choose between strawberry snowflake and strawberry soda and i'd want something more like youthful and delicious i'd go for strawberry soda so i feel like i would never pick this scent but i want to mention that wrapped in vanilla and the uh, blush cardigan they still have the mist i was expecting that to be sold out because i've heard that some people don't see this anymore i feel like everyone really loves this vanilla and it's nice but i just feel like it's kind of okay you know it's good but it's not like let me get like 10 of these type good and also i tested it out a few times and i feel like the lasting power is very poor but then again what isn't poor in lasting power these days that's not like japanese cherry blossom or fairy tale or some other scent like that and then i went back to these candles because i was trying to decide which ones to exchange it for good news this store is like the closest store to me and i love it because in the other store that i went during candle day they make you pay the difference so if you got a candle for candle day and you paid 9.95 even if the retail price matches this other candle right now let's say today it's like 16.95 they would make you pay that difference of the $16.95 less than $9.95 so some stores will let you even exchange it some won't I'm glad I discovered this one that they allow me to I was going in there thinking that they weren't going to but the guy at the register very deep voice very nice 
he like didn't even bat an eyelash like i was like oh i was about to explain myself and he was just like don't worry i got this and he just did it and i was like thank you so much but yeah um today was very fun not a lot of people i expect more i expected to see more people but then again it was a friday like around one two ish so it probably got packed later on i'm happy with all the purchases that i got and if not i'm gonna come to the store to exchange it all right so thank you so much for watching and i hope you found a lot of good items or if not i hope you stuck to your low buy okay bye